What's going on YouTube? This is Dre the Plug coming at you guys with some more technical heat and in this video I'm just gonna show you guys how to actually make a light strip like this was a pretty fun project that I just knocked out So basically typically they have light strips where it flow from like left to right or from right to left I'm actually show you guys based on the code how to control the flow of the lights and then on top of that something else I couldn't find this on the internet nowhere, right? So I pretty much came up with a way to code the light strips for the exact type of color you want. So if you want to do a blue, red, green, and have all of those flow separately, or if you wanted to switch up the actual colors, or if you want to even pick your own designated color and customize it to your own type of flavor, you could do that too. So I'm going to just go in, show you guys the code, show you guys the breakdown, go through each individual part. So I really have a really good understanding of it after looking at color numbers. The color numbers was the one thing that was kind of confusing to me, but I actually understand it perfectly now. And it'll be just easy to like bring that onto the code and understand and show you guys everything about it from start to finish. So y'all can have y'all own custom light strip. It's really, really dope. Let's get into the video. Let's get into the breakdown of some of this technical heat. Okay, y'all, so jumping into the light strip, right? So this is pretty much how it looks. I got the last one on Amazon. Like right now, I said it is unavailable, but I'm gonna still drop the link down in the description below so you guys can still go and try to get the same exact one once they restock, right? So yeah, what I'm gonna actually go in and do, I'm gonna show you guys how to pick individual colors that like just flow, flow back and forth, show you guys the direction of how to move it from left to right. Then I'm gonna go in and also show you guys how fast and how slow you can change the delay time, basically for just how quick it go from back and forth. So yeah, man, it's gonna be a really dope video. Let's get into it. And like I said, you also get to make like custom type of colors. Like you could really zoom in and zero in and pretty much come up with your exact favorite color. It's not like a designated blue, red, green, yellow, white, like you can really get down and get that turquoise type color. If that's something you really want for your light strip. Let's get into the video, man. Let's get into some more of this technical heat. So now I'm actually turn off my light. Okay, so jumping into how it's constructed, right? So as you guys can see, the one right here in the red, it's all the way right here, green, got my white, another red, and then white. So you don't need these two, don't even worry about these two, right? So then from here, this one right here, all the way to your left, this is gonna be your ground. The one all the way to your right, that's white, that's gonna be your actual voltage that you'll end up picking. And then lastly, this middle one right here is gonna connect to pin seven. So it's gonna to connect to that. And you see how I actually have a resistor coming out of that? You need a resistor. You don't want too much electricity to flow through the port. So got me a female wire and I'm gonna connect my resistor onto it. So boom, just like that, everything is connected and ready to go. Yeah, so you actually don't need to use the resistor. As long as you have a male to male wire, you could still use that one just like the power in the ground. So just pointing that out, you don't necessarily need to have a resistor. But I mean, if you only have a female port and a female wire, you could just use the resistor method like I just showed. Okay, so throwing out another disclaimer, right? So as you guys can see right here in the 3.3 volts and then the five volts is empty, you guys probably wondering like, why don't he put it inside the five volts? So there's pros and cons to both of them. You can use both of them. So I'm gonna give you guys the rundown on the pros and cons. So if you use the 3.3 volts, you can pretty much code it to do anything you want. Like any type of thing you want it to code, it'll run smooth. And it's probably like 150 little LEDs for this light strip and everything will just go smooth for the most part. But then if you use that five volts, I guess it's too much power to the point to where if you use all of the LED strips, it'll end up glitching. Some of the colors won't even show or it'll end up stopping or it may end up kind of dimming a little bit. And basically the code do not work perfectly at all when I use the five volts. But what I would say is it gives the lights an extremely bright, bright color. I mean, when you at the 3.3 volts, it's still bright, but it's not as bright as the five volts, of course. So it's like your pros and cons. If you wanted to have one specific color flow, 
definitely go ahead and try out the five boats. I mean, if that's something that you want, just one particular color, and you don't want to make it do anything too crazy. But then if you want to do like how what I'm about to show you guys, definitely go with the three boats. You can change it, change up the colors, put all types of different type of flowing directions. You can do all of that when you have the 3.3 boats. That took me a little while to really understand. I went through a couple of tests, a couple of different codes, and especially if you put the actual 3.3 volt port on, right? Now let's just say you used about like 10 or 15 of the little LEDs, you will be perfect. You'll Everything will be on point. But like I said, if you go with the five volts and you still only use like about probably like 10 LEDs, you will still be good and it'll be extremely bright. The issue is when you decide to use like, I'll say like 50 lights or a hundred of these little lights, then the 501, it just becomes an issue because I feel like it's too much electricity that comes out of it. I think that's the problem. But yeah, man, that's just a little disclaimer. I just want to go ahead and just throw in there. So let me just show you guys how this thing operate. All right, so next I'm gonna actually connect my Arduino USB to my battery. So now I'm actually turn off my light. All right, so something else I wanted to throw out there. So as you guys can see, it's a long, long strip of different LEDs, right? So typically what people do is, let's say that they only want to just use this much, they'll get some scissors and then they'll just cut this right here. And what you can do is you can actually use the Arduino, hook this up to the power, hook this up to the ground and then hook the other one up to your signal. And then you could just continue to make all of these work again. But typically when you want it to stop or you don't want any like excess, you could just cut it and then you could just start using these. And then if you want to connect it back, let's say you don't want it to be cut anymore, just put wires next to them, solder them together and then connect them right back. So that's something else I just want to throw out there. I'm not really messing with mine because I don't have no project for it, but I just wanted to throw that out there just so you guys know and on the back of it, it's actually pretty sticky material. So it'll actually stick to stuff. So just something else I wanted to talk about. And that concludes this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. It really do help my channel when it comes down to the YouTube algorithm. If you guys have any questions regarding anything, just hit me up on Instagram, hit me up on the gram, at Dre the Plug, one, two, three. And then also go check out my other YouTube channel. This is actually my second channel. My first one was called Andre Classic Cuts. I basically go in and give tutorials about all types of different haircuts. I actually show people how to do different type of things with the clippers that has never been done. And I pretty much go into detail as to why certain things happen. So definitely go check out that channel. Besides that, be on the lookout for my next content that's dropping. Be on the lookout for it because it's coming real soon. And I'm out.